Welcome to Behind the Music, our Saturday edition of Daily Hope. I'm Kristen Holton Prouty, and it's always a pleasure to join you. This weekend, we're concluding our Key Moments series, and we're focusing on the story of Mark 15, when the soldiers take Jesus, they dress him in a purple robe, they put a crown of thorns on his head, and they cry, Hail to the King of the Jews. They were mocking him. But in this whole story, we only hear about the soldier's side of things. We don't know what Jesus was doing. We picture him just quietly taking it. I don't know about you, if you've ever been teased or picked on or mocked, I don't usually take it quietly. I have memories of hand on my hip, hey, that's not who I am, don't treat me like that, you know? We try to fight back for ourselves. Jesus was like Isaiah 53 says, like a lamb to the slaughter, he uttered not a word. When we celebrate communion in a traditional worship service, often the Agnus Dei is either read or sung. The Agnus Dei means literally Lamb of God. We're thinking about Jesus being the Lamb for us, led to slaughter. The text for the Agnus Dei is this, Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. And then it repeats, Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, our sins, have mercy on us. And the third line, Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. When I was in college, I had the opportunity to travel with my college choir to Europe. We went through Austria, we went through the Czech Republic, lots of fun places, riding on buses, riding on trains, great cathedrals. We sang a lot of music. I don't remember any of it, except for one piece that's stuck in my head all these many years later. And that's a piece by Samuel Barber. I'm sure if I play just the first couple of notes for you, you'll recognize it. Do you recognize it? This is probably the most famous work by Samuel Barber, who was a Pulitzer Prize winning American composer. Originally, he had written this as a movement for a string quartet, but then he expanded it to be a piece for string orchestra. And he also set it with the Agnus Dei text for choir. And that's the piece that I was able to sing when I was in college choir on tour. Through the years, this piece has been used for many, many occasions, often kind of sad. Funerals or memorial services, things honoring people who have died in the past. It was used at the service for Albert Einstein. It's been played at many presidential funerals. It was played in memory of Princess Diana. And in 2004, the BBC did a survey and it was voted as the saddest song of all time. So there's something about this melody that really tugs at your heartstrings. And when you're singing Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world to this really gut-wrenching tune, it's quite a powerful combination. There were several people as this piece was gaining popularity who wanted to arrange it for organ. We organists like to take sometimes things that are you know, for other instruments and adopt them for ours. But Barber would hear these arrangements and he didn't like them. He didn't think that the organists were doing it justice. So he wrote to his friend William Strickland and he said, can you take my piece, because I personally am not an organ composer, and can you arrange it for organ, but before it's published, I have to sign off on it. So Strickland did. He took the piece and he adapted it for organ. Samuel Barber said, yes, I like it. And so we're fortunate to have this really nice arrangement of the Barber Adagio for strings for organ. Now he did a really nice job of marking where you need to change the manuals and things to help it grow and blossom and bloom. Like when you have a violin, you can just play a little bit louder or a cello can just bloom. With the organ, we have to move our hands and things. So I'm just gonna play a small passage for you and talk you through some of the ways that we're going to do that. So I'm starting on the second manual and I have what I call the box. There's up inside the organ, there's some wooden slots like this. Now I have them closed, so the sound is going to be 
muffled, so to speak. And then as we crescendo, I'll open them up using my foot. Also, I'm gonna start in the second manual and then he's marked different places for different fingers to change. So if we keep it on this shot where you can see my hands, you'll be seeing, you know, first my thumb will move and then my other thumb will move and then eventually both of my hands will work their way down here. But it's not like I'm here and then I move here. It's gonna be a gradual process. So here we go. Moving my right hand, thumb. Adding another voice in the right hand. Now the thumb on my left hand is coming down here. The pinky on my left hand is still on the second manual and now it gets to join the bottom manual. And I'm opening the box. And that's as loud as I can get without adding another stop. You see how that creatively you have to go and he's marked all of that to help it be a really graceful process so it's pretty cool i love this piece now i hope as you listen i'll play a little bit more for you that you'll keep that really lenten text lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on me have mercy on me i hope you'll tune in this weekend as we have worship online i'll be playing this for you then but for now just a little bit to finish out today Thank you. 